not amount to equating it with the principle of basic structure itself, that it can never be done. Like you cannot, and that also through a judicial pronouncement, no, the but philosophy let's, of uh, let's, uh, basic let's, structure. Let, all right, let's not talk of 2023, Madhats. In 1950, what was the position? This was the position. That it can't be done. No, but prior to the basic structure doctrine itself, it could be done. Parliament, no, no, how can we say that Parliament could not have exercised its plenary amending power? This is not basic to abrogate to abrogate Article Three Seventy. This is not basic structure, brothers. This is a a, a a a a compact between one sovereign and another in, in grafted in our constitution. It's a constitutional compact. Unlike, unlike other states where Malads, where Junagar Malads, he didn't agree. You, you, you know, as a political act, you took over Junagar. He ran away, the Maharaja ran away, Malad. So that, Mr. Ka, Mr. Sibyl, there, I mean, there, I think we are treading on thin ice because the moment we say that this was just a recognition, this was a recognition of a compact between one sovereign state and another which forms a part of our constitution, then such a sovereign compact is capable of being overridden. That's all right, Mala. So then we could by the I, sovereign of the succeeding state. That that debate is a separate debate which doesn't arise in this case because there's a procedure that they have followed. That debate doesn't arise here, Mala. We're not, not talking of that at the moment. That's not an issue. We are talking about a procedure in terms of 370, which they followed, consistent with the interpretation of 370. Having taken that position that we need the we need the consent of the constituent assembly. Is this the constituent assembly according to you? Yes, yes, that's right. That's the procedure. That we've, uh, we've appreciated We're only that on that. We, yes, of course, we have appreciated that. We are limited only on that. That the large... process, in other words, your contention is that the process which the government of India followed yes, assumes that the proviso to clause 3 applies, yes. that this change has to be brought in through a constituent assembly. Correct. But this was evidently not the constituent assembly right. because a it was a legislative assembly that you have invoked and to even that legislative assembly was dissolved and ultimately parliament was exercising that power in the 356. Now right. the larger question supposing your lordships were to say this is not the right procedure then the question will arise can they do it through any other procedure then what my lord is putting to me may arise but we're not on that issue we're not giving solutions to the other side that you can do it under 370. I don't know what where that comes from. So that's we, well, there's a limited constitutional issue before you, which is the process, the power and the process. The power is in 370 sub Article 3. The process is what they followed. Can they do it under 370 sub Article 3? And is this process right? That's the limited issue that your lordships have to decide. If there are other processes available under the constitution, if they follow them, maybe whether that may be valid, may not be valid, but I can't answer that question in a vacuum. But my lord is right. What my lord is putting to me, the problem is the residuary power is with the state, and I've shown your lordships, Mullah's provision after provision from right from the Delhi Pact in 1952 that that's the case. But then what happens to Article 363A? 350? 363A. That, that, that also earlier, the recognition was on the basis of the pact between the various uh, princely states and. Different. Mullahs, those pacts were there, recognition granted to rulers, but Mullahs, either they completely assimilated themselves into the union and be part of a state, or they were taken over. Either so Hyderabad or Junagar. On Junagad. the basis of certain agreements between the states and the princely Correct, states. But those agreements were different yes. from this agreement. Malaz, your lordship is right. If it were that kind of agreement, then your lordships would apply those standards and those principles and those uh, uh, judicial dictums which your lordships applied. Why not on so that? Your, your argument is that the uh, un unless the views of the entire populace of the Jammu and Kashmir are taken into consideration, the abrogation of 370 can't yes, be Yes, that upon. can be done. But, but that's then, a then, then, then the, the negotiations were not between the elected body, the election, the negotiations between the, because the, the princely state and the union. Correct. And that was accepted. That that very thing was accepted by 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 by, by the then constitution makers. So, but as we can't go into so high. What was accepted, insofar as the other states are concerned, it, it, it could be taken away by 363A. 
Correct, but that was not the position as far as Jammu and Kashmir is concerned. I'm not, Malad, I'm not saying anything. I agree with my, what my Lord is putting to me. But how do you change the constitutional structure? There must be some power. You can say that you can do a political act. Today you say, look, forget about all this. We take over Jammu Kashmir. Fine. This is 63A was done under 368. Yes, you can do that. But point today is, mother, that's not an issue before you. You're not going to answer an issue which is not with respect, the greatest respect, which is not before you. You're not going to find a power for them which doesn't exist and which is not followed. Yes, Mr. Go back. I understand, Muller, the difficulty, and I understand, Muller, the fact that at some stage or the other, this had to be, let's put it this way, this had to be done, let's put it this way, somebody said this has to be done, so then, then Muller, there must be, this must be found a constitutional way of doing it. I'm not saying there are... Not there, has to be done, I would say, but whether it could be done or not. No, no, not could meet be. the mandate. Question is, you say it can't be done. No, no, I say this was a political act. I don't say anything more than that. This was a pure political act. And you circumvented the provisions of the constitution to reach a particular end result, which you always wanted. That's the second part is that which you will argue, of course, that the yes. process by which they followed was... Yes, yes. Well, that's, that, that is the issue before you. There's no other issue before you. According to you, this could have been only done, could have been only done on the recommendation of the Constituent Assembly. Yes. Absent a Constituent Assembly, you cannot exercise the power to abrogate. Number one. Number two, in any case, it is they who believed that this could only be done through the Constituent Assembly. Apart from the fact that I say that it could be done, they also believe that it could be done and they followed that procedure. Now, whether that procedure was right, was wrong, is for your lordships to decide. Whether there is another way to do it is something that they will decide. <laughs> that's, that's all that I can say. <laughs> I don't want to make the argument whether in a hypothetical argument, uh, conjuring up issues that don't arise in this case. And I don't want to give a helping hand as my learned colleague wants to do, <laughs> because he can do it outside the court. The lighter side, you said if you had to do it, you would do it a different way. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but as you can't introduce a bill in Parliament at 11 o'clock, pass a resolution without anybody knowing about it. Of course, those are internal procedures. Of the the parliament. I'm not saying anything. 212. Yeah, so I'm not. I mean, I'm just saying 11 o'clock, nobody a, knows. Nobody large, knows. Larger issue as a member of parliament, you will say don't touch us. Oh, that's yes, it. yes. <laughs> that's right. So I'm not touching uh, that, that process either. I'm only saying that this is what's, you know, it, it sort of fits into the argument that this is a, a was a political process carried through certain constitutional means which unfortunately were not available to Although the political process was a simple, only question is whether it is within the constitutional means or not. That's right. All, that's all right. The, everything is a political process.